Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to be working on our horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines based off the artists of Soul LeWitt, the video that we just saw. We're also going to be working with complementary colors today. If you don't know what complementary colors are, these are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. So if you look above my board, you will see my color wheel. At the very top of the color wheel is yellow, and at the very bottom of the color wheel is purple, which is why I have these two colors, because I'm going to use complementary colors today. Also, the poster right above my board that says complementary, you can see the three different complementary colors. We've got red and green, yellow and purple, and blue and orange, our Astros colors. Those are what we're gonna to use today. You'll have a choice of which complementary color set you want to use. So the first thing we're gonna to do today is we're going to create even lines on two pieces of paper. To do that, it's actually easier than it looks. You can see that the lines on my red and green are pretty even and it's not hard to do. Here's the trick for doing it. Both of these pieces of paper, I'm going to make lines on. I'm gonna start with the yellow because I think it's easier to see. If you take your piece of paper and fold it in half, hamburger style or horizontally, one time, and then fold it in half, hamburger, a second time, you will have three lines on your paper. See those? One, two, three and it creates four sections. Now I'm gonna bend these backwards a little bit so my paper lays flat again. There we go. Now I have my sections on my paper. You're gonna take a black marker and I'm gonna find this first crease. I'm gonna hold up my paper a little bit so I can see it real easily and so it gives my marker a guide to run down. So I'm gonna do one line it has to go all the way from the top to the bottom. Don't start before the edge of the paper and don't end before the edge of the paper. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, see, and I made a mistake. That's a really good example. There we go. And one more time, I'm gonna run all the way from top to bottom right down that crease. So now I've got four equal sections. Once you have this, you're gonna decide how many lines you want in each section. I think I'm gonna do mm, probably five or six in each section, and that will help make it really even. So I'm gonna do one, and I'm dragging my hand from top to bottom. That's a lot easier than trying to go from side to side. If you hold your paper in front of you, so you're dragging your hand from top to bottom, it's usually easier to make straight lines. Two, three, four, five, and six. And those are about as even as I can make it without a ruler. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put six lines in each of these. I'm going to fold my paper, my purple paper, and do the same thing. So each of my papers is completely filled with lines. Here we go, I'm gonna speed up the video. All right, here we go. So now I have my two pieces of paper, my complementary colors, and I have drawn on my lines. And now we are going to start making our circles and arranging them on our paper like Saul LeWitt did. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make my purple paper, my background paper, and all of my lines on my purple paper are going to go horizontally. These are horizontal lines, they go from left to right. This is why we call it a horizon line because it's horizontal horizon. Same thing, you hear it, right? So these, these lines go horizontally. So when I do 
my circles, I need to have them go either vertically or diagonally. Here's how we're gonna do it. I have an amazing plate that I'm gonna trace. I'm gonna trace it on the back so I don't have any pencil lines. I'm gonna trace this, and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put it in the middle of the paper. Let me move this down there. I'm not gonna put it in the middle of the paper. I'm gonna put it at the edge because I still wanna be able to trace other circles up here. So I'm gonna put it, in fact, I'm gonna put it kind of in the corner too so that I don't waste paper. So there's gonna be my big circle. You are gonna have choice in how you want to do your circles, so don't panic. There are circle tracers at your table. You're then gonna trace some other circles. I don't know, four or five maybe. I'm gonna do different sizes. And I'm gonna show you a sneaky trick for cutting out the middle of these as well. All of these are gonna get glued down. Maybe I'll do one over here. I can fit this one right here because I'm looking through the tracer and I can see it's not gonna run into any. All right, so I'm gonna cut these out. I'm gonna speed up the video once again. All right, so here are my circles all cut out. See, they've got the lines on one side. I have no pencil lines because I cut them on the back. All of your trash, it may drop on the floor, I understand, but please do not leave it on the floor. Crumple it up and put it in a trash can. Now that I've gotten it this far, I may decide that I want to take some of my circles and cut out the center. It's actually very easy to do. Watch this. I'm gonna leave my big one solid, but maybe this one I wanna cut the center out of. Take this, fold it in half, and we're gonna use this circle tracer again. If you look at the circle tracer, let's see here, that's a good size. Let me do, I will do this one right here since it's on the edge. Okay, if you're looking at this circle tracer, you can see right here, oops, there we go. There is a mark halfway at the top and at the bottom. If you put, maybe that's easier to see, if you put that halfway mark, it's this one right here, and that one right here on the fold of your circle near the middle, and then you trace, oh, I'm getting caught up here. Put it on the fold, and trace, you can then cut out the center of your circle. Because now when I do this, it's going to be hollow in the middle and it will be a circle because I used the guidelines on the tracer, see it at the top and at the bottom to do it. So when I open it up, now I've got a perfect circle right out of the middle. So you can do that to some of yours too. When you've got your circles all cut out, then you're gonna start arranging them. You want a composition that looks pretty cool, but you need to pay attention to where you're putting your circles and the direction the lines are facing. My background is horizontal, so I want my other lines to be either vertical or diagonal. You're gonna use regular glue. When you glue it down, dots, tiny dots. These are really light pieces of paper. We just need them to stick. So I'm gonna take it, I'm going to put on four tiny dots. That's it, no more. We don't want a gluey mess. My background lines are horizontal. This is going to be vertical. And I've got all these. Now, before I lay these down, I'm gonna look and see how I want it to go. They can overlap. 
See how these lines are now diagonal? So you're gonna decide on your composition, how you want it to go. And glue down your circles. Maybe make that one diagonal too. All right, so I think this is how I'm gonna glue it down. It'll be on the board for you to see. I hope you have a good time. It's really fun to do.